Hi folks, Ben from Snowy's here again today to give you another product to review. I'm uh, going to show you how to set up the Dust to Dawn swag today. Uh, available in three sizes, like most of the Daiichi range, in 900, uh, 1100 and 1400. So you've got a, a single, uh, extra large single, a squeezy double and a double. It's probably the swag we've had in our range, the longest out of the entire Daiichi range. Um, it's a really roomy, freestanding design, just two hoops, really large doors on the side. Um, so good for stargazing. But first up, let's show you what comes in the box. So straight out of the box, there's two hoops poles that go at each end. They're a, a good quality black alloy pole, flexible pole, and it comes with a little pole repair sleeve in there as well. This is the spreader pole. It's together like this and it has a lever um, and this pole extends um, that goes between the two end poles to, to keep it in its freestanding upright position. Comes with a little pack of pegs here. One, two, six pegs in there. They're reasonable quality steel pegs. Probably wouldn't need to replace them. They, they'll do the job straight out of the box. So you got the main body of the swag. This is the mat, it comes very compressed. Um, if we were to take that out of the bag now, um, it wouldn't be a very good indication of how comfortable the mattress is, but the one in our display model here has had plenty of time to, to puff up, so you'll get an idea of how thick it is. And it comes with a nice heavy duty canvas bag like you see just here. So that's what's in the box with the, the, the dust to adorn swag. Um, I'm gonna push all this aside and show you how to set this one up. So as I said, it's a, it's a really good quality bag. It's the same canvas that the swag's made of. It's got grab handles at each end, a carry handle on the top, and compression straps over the top as well. So easy to throw on the roof rack, back of the four-wheel drive, whatever you, whatever you, um, or however you pack your swag. Um, it's gonna withhold the elements. All the uh, buckles on this swag are a heavy duty steel D locking buckle, so there's no, plastic clips or anything that can potentially break. It's a nice heavy duty zipper with a storm flap over it. And as I mentioned, when I rolled this up this morning, this actually fit relatively easily back into the bag. I didn't have to wrestle too much with this swag to get it back in there. It comes with compression straps attached to the swag. So when we undo these, it's gonna stay attached. So no chance of getting them lost. So unroll the swag, holes rolled up inside. Uh, you may notice it's got a, a PVC bottom on it as well. Um, a little more waterproof than the canvas um, on some swags. Uh, it's also good if you just want to roll the swag up without it being in the bag. The PVC provides a bit more protection on the outside. Spread the swag out. The first thing we do is putting the two end poles together. The three sections. They've got a pre-curve to them. Um, so it's pretty obvious which way they go around feeds in through this sleeve at the top at each end. So this pole goes through here. And then on each corner, there's a the pin inserts into the end of the pole here. And that happens on both sides. It goes in relatively easily. So if you're feeling a bit of force, or feel like you're forcing it when you're putting that pole in, then you might want to make sure this sleeve isn't caught up anywhere. Then there's plastic C-clips that attach to the pole and that's one end of the swag. We do the same at the other. So now we've got the two end poles in place. Um, this could be freestanding if you were to peg out the awning at each end here to hold these two up. But the dust to adorn swag, as I mentioned before, comes with a spreader pole. It's got a spigot on each end which goes into the um, brass eyelets at the top um, peak of each end here. And then you spread the pole out to push both ends upwards and create a freestanding design. And then this just locks in place. A couple of other C-clips on the top here. And our swag is pretty well set up. So that's the swag set up. Um, just looking at the outside, uh, quick overview, 400 GSM ripstop canvas. You can see the ripstop uh, um, uh, feature in the canvas there. It feels tough. It feels like you're gonna to get tons of, uh, tons of use out of it. 
Um, nice big storm flaps over the zips. Th this is the zip for each door. The there's actually two, they're reversed. You've got one storm flap going this way, then another large one over the top here as well. And these extend right over the top of the zip down the bottom here, so nice and weatherproof. Um, at each end, you've got a, a reasonable sized awning with, um, with a guy rope pre-attached. Um, fit, maybe fit your boots under there. Um, not a lot of gear, but it certainly uh, protects this, um, this entrance at each end. And it's the same at both ends. Um, the main benefit of this is that you've got entrances at each end. You can have that open this close. Tons of protection from the weather, but still get ventilation throughout. Um, there's three eyelets on this door here. You'll see when I open this, you can actually extend this as an awning. So Dachi do these handy little awning kits. There's only two poles in each, which is all you really need for this one, but you can actually extend this out with those eyelets. Just two or three would make it sturdier as an awning on the side of your tent. That exists on both sides, so you can create quite a, quite a sheltered sleeping space, really good for warm weather camping. Um, as I mentioned, this door features on both sides, so you can open the tent right up and there's both canvas and mesh panels on each side as well. So if you want, you can have it right open or just as a bug proof shelter or on warm humid nights. You can just have the, cam the mesh shut on both sides and at each end as well. Uh, now a lot of people, um, to ask whether this is insect proof. It is insect proof. Uh, midge proof is another story. Um, they seem to be able to get through any little hole. Um, this is pretty heavy duty mesh, just feeling it. Um, you'd be going to destroy it. Like, you're gonna have to work pretty hard to wreck it. But I wouldn't say it's fine enough to keep midges out. Um, I'm not really sure what does keep midges out. There is a, a, a finer mesh, but um, it becomes less durable. But. Certainly going to keep the mozzies and all those other bugs out of your out of your swag. I've opened up one side of the swag. It's actually got the same doors on both sides, so huge openings. Really good for ventilation uh, and stargazing at night. Inside, you've got a 50 mil mattress. Um, feels pretty comfortable, but. You certainly benefit from an upgrade, um, perhaps a, another 900 wide or, or whatever size swag you get. Um, a a self-inflating mattress would give you a little bit more comfort, um, but it's certainly going to do the job straight out of the box. Uh, inside, we've got four small mesh pockets, two at each end um, for storage of gear. Um, this mattress cover is removable as well. Just going back to the mattress, it's got a zipper around the edge here, so easy to remove and wash that. I guess you could also just replace the foam inside the cover if you wanted to upgrade that mattress or put a, a closed cell foam mat inside just to give it a bit more, more padding. Um, the, the other addition to the, the doors on each side, both having a canvas and a mesh panel, um, is that each end also has vents with an internal canvas panel and a mesh external panel. Um, can all be open from the inside but this is a, a canvas panel here and then another mesh one here which can be open. So just looking inside, really roomy. As you can see, the, the head height um, is, is the same at both ends. So uh, tons of space inside the swag. Um, look, I'm six foot one. Um, I've got plenty of space in this swag, so I would sleep very comfortably in here. So. Um, I haven't got much more to say about it. It's a nice, simple, functional swag. If I was to open up both of these sides here, all I'd have was a strip of, of canvas down the middle here, and I'd have a pretty good view of the night sky in the evening or watch the sunrise in the morning. Um, there'd be tons of ventilation. By the time I opened both of these sides on each end, I'd have airflow throughout. So. Um, popular swag, really good, uh, really popular part of our range. Um, certainly recommend it. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, with the dust to adorn swag. Some people ask if they should season these swags uh, or any swag really when they first purchase them. 
Look, it's not as important nowadays. Um, the canvas is usually pretty well treated. You used to have to treat canvas to make it kind of swell up and seal all the seams. It can't help, it can't hurt, sorry, to set it up in your backyard and just squirt it down with water to start with. Squirt it down, let it dry, only pack it away once it's dried, don't pack it away wet. Um, no harm in doing that at all. Best conditions for the Dust Till Dawn swag is probably, well pretty much any condition really. With it all closed up, you've got a really weatherproof shelter. Um, if you're in humid uh, or really warm conditions, as I mentioned before, you can just about open up the whole thing. So um, a, a really good all round swag for, for any condition, particularly any condition in Australia. So yeah, really popular swag. So I might um, take a snooze again.